welcome to my studio. Let me give you a tour of what I'm doing. Let's start, um, how about over here? This is a photo that I got from a friend of mine on the internet that uh, she took of some flowers in San Francisco on her iPhone. And I had the picture blown up and I probably am going to start sketching this maybe in about a month. Uh, I think it's going to make a really beautiful painting because it has such great colors. And I love, I think they're peonies. I love peonies. And then I decided to start another series that I'm going to put on my blog probably pretty soon of um, figures, maybe uh, kind of whimsical figures that I got from some sketches that I did when I took a design course about designing clothing. And I'm going to take some of these sketches and I'm going to use my crepas, which are oil pastels, and I'm going to start drawing on illustration board that's been gessoed. And I think I'm going to make like really colorful, whimsical figure paintings made with kids. Uh, who knows what I'll end up with, but they're going to be probably with no faces. And um, I think that uh, they'll, they'll be a lot of fun. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in them, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I might even do some mixed media and put different uh, papers on it, make it really, really colorful. I have my papers laid out here, um, tissue paper and different handmade papers. So check up in a couple of weeks. I'll probably show you my progress on that. And I'm actually going to have a show at the Jersey Shore starting this Thursday. And I'm getting my stuff ready for it. I'm going to have an opening on June 11th. And I'm doing a lot of ocean scenes, and I'm calling it my ocean series. And you probably saw this on the blog. I had this on a post last week. This is my painting I did of a scene in Margate in April. I thought it just was like such a serene photograph of the beach in Margate. And I just, I really love it. I painted this on watercolor canvas, which is really a new way of painting for me. I've done a few paintings on the canvas, so I really like it because when I put the paint down, it makes it really transparent feeling and kind of a spontaneous, colorful feel, and I really like that. So I'm going to continue doing watercolor canvas paintings. Um, the other painting, I just finished this actually yesterday, and this is from a photograph that my friend Ken Levenbaum did of some boats in Baltimore Harbor, actually. So this is another nautical scene that I'm going to put in my show. And I also have another surface I'm going to start working on called um, Aqua Board. It's actually a clay board um, surface that really brings out the color. The color just lays on the surface and it's very, very good for making really colorful paintings. I was thinking of possibly doing this photograph, which is a seagull. Um, that's down at the ocean at the shore, so we'll see. Maybe I'll do that painting on the clay board. And then what I'm doing over here at my watercolor table is I'm working on a sunset that um, my friend Ken took again. And it's a photograph of Margate Bay um, looking west, obviously, for the sunset. It's a very dramatic picture. And I think I'm going to try to paint this on watercolor board again. Uh, excuse me, watercolor canvas. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about how I start. I'm, I'm kind of an organized painter, maybe not so neat, but I have my tray full of all kinds of different co colors of watercolor. I have my trusty little um, watercolor palette that I've been using forever that I can actually take outside because it folds up if I ever want to do outside painting. And this is really the palette that I use most. It has the basic colors in it. And then I basically use four different brushes. They're all rounds. They're all sable. And I really feel, I tell this to my watercolor students, if you're going to make any kind of investment in watercolor painting, it's in your brushes. And I always tell them, I think that if they're going to continue, they need to buy sable brushes because they really hold 
the color and the water so nicely. You can see how it comes to a point, and I've had this brush for several years. There's no hairs that come off of it. I have it in three different sizes, and I just, I just love these kinds of brushes. They're really worth the investment. Now this is called a rigger, and this is a brush I use if I just need a really small little line, which I can uh, show you if I just, you know, just want some kind of really nice little delicate line. Um, I could do it with this. It's really fun. So what I do is I have my brushes laid out, my paint laid out, my water, my paper towels, and what it is that I'm painting from. I mean, sometimes I will paint from a live still life, or um, you know, I'll paint outside, but a lot of times I'll paint from photographs. So I started this painting this morning, and um, when you do a painting, at least when I do a painting, I look at the colors in the painting, and many times I'll kind of add to the colors that are there, or make them more vibrant. So if you look at this photograph, it almost looks like it's black here on the horizon of land. I put a lot of blue in it, and my plan is because blue and orange are complementary colors, I'm going to have more blue up here, and I'm going to put some orange surrounding this unbelievable reflection of the sun setting on the water. And having that in the water is just going to make that really pop. So, um, you know, I'll just show you very, very quickly, you know, what I'm thinking of doing next. And that is, I think I'm going to add a little orange to the, the sun down here and the sun up here. So I'm going to look at my, my tray here, and I'm going to take my color, and I always have a little bit of a sample piece of watercolor so I can check my color. I need to get a little bit more water. And I'm thinking that that looks pretty good. I'm also going to check this orange, which is probably even brighter. It is. So I'll have those two oranges, and I will start out with this one. And I'm just going to put like just a touch of orange around it and I will blend it in with the yellow. I'll get some more. And if I'm looking at the picture, it looks like it's really more on the top and the bottom of the sun. I mean, the sun is just so bright. It really is it's basically white, which is kind of, uh, kind of crazy. So I'm making it very watery. And I'm kind of making it kind of ripply like, because that's what the water is. And right now it looks like it's probably on fire. But when I put, um, you know, blue around it, it's going to really look a lot different. Get some more paint on here. Okay, this is going good. Many times I have to fill in later and make the, the colors more vibrant because I'm going to make another line of this blue up here so it's a little bit darker. And the great thing about the watercolor canvas, for those people who, who paint, is that you really can just dab it and it comes right up. I don't want the orange to go out that far, so I'm just going to take it and just scrub it out, and not a big deal. So, I also don't like the way this orange is kind of dripping here, so I'm going to go like that, and I'll go into it later. Um, okay, so that's all I'm going to do right now, but thanks for visiting, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.